Hello and welcome back to another review guys. Now that's right, today we're going over a brand new movie release. There's another new movie out in the cinema this week. Very exciting. This one is from director M. Night Shyamalan. So, and that of course is old. And before we get on to the movie, let's do a little bit of reflecting on M. Night Shyamalan because he's a very interesting director because he's got some absolutely great films and then he's got some absolute stinkers. Recently, I really did enjoy Split and I thought Glass was just okay. So there was a bit of hope. It seemed like he'd come out of that little dark period he was in and he was coming back to making some good movies here. Um, and the trailers for Old looked really good. I was really invested in the trailers. I was like, this looks good. I didn't really have many issues with the trailers. Um, so yeah, film's out. Went to see it. I... I <laughs> I, I, I'm a bit confused as to what I watch, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was debating taking this review straight to a bad movie review, but I didn't think it was quite on that level. But it's nearly there. It really, really is. Old tells the story of a group of people who are on their holiday, their vacation, and they get taken to a private beach by the people who run the hotel. And there's a couple groups of people there. And after spending a bit of time on the island, they start to realise something's not right. Um, they start to realise that they are ageing incredibly quickly on this island. And the plot of the movie is basically them trying to deal with the changes which are going on with them while also trying to escape the island. This premise is fantastic. I love that. That sounds great. And that's why the traders really appealed to me. Because obviously they were showing the best bits. And this, the, the idea of this sounds fantastic. So I'll start with that. The positives are. Emma Night Shyamalan has once again come up with a great premise for a movie. He is fantastic at that. Um, I love the idea of this. Negatives. <laughs> um, the plot takes some unusual turns throughout the movie, and I'm not going to spoil it, but there are so many things that he could have done, and he instead went down some really stupid routes with this plot. On top of that, the actors are not putting in good performances. Honestly, like my very good friend Ryan, who I do my podcast with, by the way, we both talked about this movie and Space Jam, A New Legacy in our latest episodes. So make sure you go check that out if you want to hear a more in-depth discussion on this movie with me and him. Um, he went to uni to study films and I'd seen some of his friends who I've become friends with make mini movies, um, shorts and stuff. Um, and the actors in that were putting in better performances than they were in this movie. I don't know what the actors did. There were some bits where you'd have an actor, actress, and she'd have a bit of an accent. And then the grown-up version wouldn't adopt that accent. And it's like, I, that, d, 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 come on, <laughs> what's going on? Um, I, don't, I didn't bring any notes up here with me because I genuinely couldn't be bothered to really put too much effort into talking about this movie, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but yeah, none of the actors really done a great job. There wasn't anyone who I thought, wow, you're doing a really good job. They all sort of fell a bit flat. And that's no dig at the actors, because I've seen a lot of these actors in other movies, and I've seen them put in good performances. So this is in no way a dig at them. I think it's just one of those things where the director wasn't um, getting across to them well enough, maybe on the set. Um top of that filmmaking wise i think this is quite a poor poorly made movie the editing i don't think is great i think the camera work is awful for the most part which is really weird because there's one scene where a character goes deaf that's all i'll say and i thought that was shot really well and then the, for the rest of the movie it's like there's constantly circling characters with the camera and it gets really frustrating there there is a lot of the uh, the film tries to do this thing a lot of the time where it will be out of it, it won't be like focused in on a character it'll be like behind them because you know they've aged up and you're getting the reaction of someone else and in the camera work tries to do this multiple times throughout the movie sometimes the character hasn't aged up it's trying to trick the audience and it really doesn't work half the time i'm like i just want to look at the characters not have half their head in frame like this while they're talking because it's so stupid and the camera just, it just gives you a headache that some of the movements it does it's ridiculous um 
And in terms of characters, I think a lot of them feel very flat. You know, you're juggling a lot of characters here and they're all just instantly breaking down and all, you know, they've all got conditions. They're all starting to go wrong throughout this movie. Um, and I just didn't, you don't really feel connected to any of them, bar maybe the kids. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not even the kids. I don't know, I didn't really feel connected to any of them that much. Um, I don't know, it was just um, bizarre like that. So the plot, the way it went, there's a there's a, another scene that happens in some caves near the end, which involves a couple broken bones, and those who have seen it, you, you know what I'm talking about. That was hilarious. There were people laughing in the cinema. Shit you not. People burst out laughing in the cinema when that happened. And me, Luca Rara, just sort of sit there like, what the hell? What the hell? Almost felt a bit embarrassed for the movie. Um, yeah, the script was really weak. There, there, there are moments where it feels very false, the script. It's a scene near the start where the dad talks to the, the mum and he's like, there's something I need to tell you. She doesn't say nothing. He doesn't say nothing else. There's a pause and he goes, I'll tell you later. And it's like, this feels so forced. It doesn't feel natural. And uh, the, the, the script itself is just not, not good. And the actors are making it worse because they're not carrying this over well enough. <sighs> Typical M. Night Shyamalan. There is a little bit of a twist at the end. And I just I just thought it was very near. I was like, Ugh, it's just, I don't even care at this point. And the film kept doing one of those things where it's like, oh, okay, is this the end? No. Nope. Is this the end? No. Nope. Is this the end? No. Nope. By the end of it, I was so happy when the film ended. Um, it's not M. Night Shyamalan's worst, it's not Avatar or The Happening. It's not far off The Happening, but it's not, it's not Avatar. You know, that's still something truly special. This is one of his weakest films, without a doubt. It's, it's just a, it's a great concept, but executed as poorly as it possibly could have been, probably. And I can see why a lot of people are struggling to enjoy this movie because it is very dull. It's very slow and it's very, not much happens for ages. Characters don't really take a, any any authority or any sort of, um, they don't really make a stand on the situation for ages. It's like, yeah, we're just going to let these things happen to us. Why not? Why not? Um, you know, I, 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 I thought this film was pretty bad, not gonna lie. And I really wanted to like it because, as I, I love the idea of the movie. I like M. Night Shyamalan because I do respect him as a director and as a filmmaker. But this one didn't work at all. Um, it's not a good movie. Um, I feel like, give this to another director and it could work a lot better. I'm gonna give old... A three and a half out of ten yeah i gave it a four on my review um on my um podcast but yeah i'm gonna drop it down to a three and a half i think that's what it deserves um saying that i would slight say i slightly prefer it to space jam and fast nine i gave both of them fours so you can take those two scores down as well yeah i, I know my i think i was a bit kinder on those films than i should have been but anyway old was not a good movie um I can see why people are in... I, can I? I think I can because the concept's really cool. And if people can just get invested because of the concept, then okay. But there were so many things that were pulling me out of this movie and making me almost laugh. And it was just like... I can't get into this concept because the movie is not well made. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, but anyway, that's just me. I'm not a filmmaker. I couldn't do a better job. But me, as an audience member watching it, that's my take on the film. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it as always. Don't forget to uh, enjoy this review. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video.